Hi everyone, I'm uh, Fus Muhammad Shah with you. Uh, today, uh, our main subject uh, is about uh, anaerobic uh, digestion for biogas uh, production process. It's a design uh, model. Uh, so we we need to uh, discover how can we uh, deal with uh, such uh, model. Anyway, uh, first of all, you have to specify your destination folder. After downloading your model, as we mentioned before and many times, uh, set your pass from here. Open MATLAB first. Don't open uh, the model. It's contained in a, uh, in a main folder. So open your uh, MATLAB first and then go to your destination folder from here or copy it and, post, uh, and pass it from here to this uh, location. So this is my uh, my model. This is my model folder. I click here and uh, sort by name and the group by type. Okay, this is very important. Okay, so this is my model. We have uh, three models. Uh, we have uh, uh, two types. This one is a design model, and the second version is some kind between design and performance model. And the third one is in dynamic mode for the first one. Uh, it just uh, you can do it by yourself. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, let's let's go through the first one and see. Okay. Uh, this is the first one. Uh, all we need to uh, to to know about this one is to uh, to assign uh, some uh, specific inputs to the model. Uh, we need to suppose this is a design model, so we need to uh, to know uh, design aspects for the model, such as the volume of uh, the tank used for uh, the digestion process and loading, uh, tank loading, and uh, some important parameters. What is your cost analysis for this one? Okay. Uh, first of all, suppose if it is it in design mode, so we need to assign two main inputs. Uh, what is your collection volume? Okay, because this is your target. This is your target. Let's emphasize a little bit. I think this is my uh, target. So I need to discover uh, how much should I collect from the uh, the process. Suppose I need. Uh, 1.5 uh, meter cube okay it's apply and my retention time is very important so I suppose I need it in 50 days okay and I can select between many many uh, products suppose I need uh, uh, for cattle manure okay okay and cost this is this is uh, this it is for cost interest rate plant lifetime for example maybe 20 years okay or 10 years okay and hit online that's all let's go inside here and see uh, uh, our this is our main inputs and this our main outputs and this block is for the process itself so if you right click here you can change your mask okay go to your mask edit mask Okay, and you can change your photo here or uh, uh, the cover mask. Okay, this is your parameters. Okay, there's no parameters here. The parameters in this one. If you click here and check your mask, edit mask, you will find your uh, parameters. Okay, uh, collection, retention time, uh, feed stock time. Uh, is it for roots or manure or human waste? It's up to your design, okay? And the process, you can control the process itself by double clicking here. <coughs> I'm sorry. As you can see here, this is your function and this is your function name. And here are your inputs, a collection volume, retention time, uh, total solids, solid contents, uh, organic uh, 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 material and we have here these are your outputs and this is your, your processes 
or uh, processes that control your outputs so you can uh, adapt this or control this or uh, edit or remove or it's up to your design so we need to discover the void let's hit run and see saving okay <coughs> i'm sorry okay hit run and see uh, some outputs here okay for collection volume about five meter cube per day uh, we will find the following uh, let's go here okay this is uh, your digester load it's in a proper uh, value 0 0.3 0 0.5 something like this is quite normal and uh, for uh, total influent it's about 160 kilogram total solids this is your total solids this is total uh, this is charge uh, water mass should be added okay water mass should be added and this is your total volume we need total volume for this one and uh, sludge layer volume uh, working volume of digestion okay uh, around eight meter cube a diameter of the cylindrical uh, the, uh, 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 tank uh, we have some uh, other outputs such as volume of the top head, volume of the bottom head, uh, volume of cylindrical part, uh, height of the top head, height of the bottom, and height of the cylindrical uh, portion. And this is hourly cost. This is hourly cost uh, relating to your uh, uh, collection volume. You can run this in dynamic mode if you would like. Okay, this is for uh, uh, cattle menu. You can choose between many products such as uh, apple fresh, apple canned, lemon, uh, onion fresh, some vegetables, organic materials, okay, human waste, waste uh, uh, cheap dung. Okay, suppose I would like to run this in uh, <coughs> dynamic mode by changing some uh, inputs within a specific time let's go here for this one let's double clicking here <coughs> okay uh, this is for dynamic model let's close this one okay so i i need to change some parameters suppose i i would like to control two things first of all i, I will control the uh, the retention time by clicking here and setting my retention time okay okay my retention time suppose it's from uh, one up to 50 days okay and uh, i will use this one clock in order to uh, 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 giving the same value of, of the simulation model to the retention time okay this one is taking the same value it's from 1 up to 50 and I generated a random uh, random uh, uh, collection volume suppose it's from uh, this value up to I think this one 0.5 up to uh, 0.9 or I think this one is the maximum okay but nine. so this is random collection volume during uh, the 50 days okay you can create this by yourself you can control you can control this one if you would like okay you can control this you can add or remove it's up to your uh, design we're saving your model and let's see if we controlled <coughs> between uh, uh, time and collection volume uh, let's go here okay this is, is your feed stock type so uh, we, we need to calculate uh, this is from literature total solids uh, concentration solid concentration it's constant organic dry matter so if you select the first one it will give you uh, it's from on one up to uh, 27 type of feed stock okay this is for b this is for apple this is for uh, uh i think uh, uh, apple canned and so on okay let's go here and try to uh, run our model and this is specific time limitation it's finished 
let's go here to the signal builder and trying to collect some results okay okay as you can see here within this specific retention time uh, this is your load this is your uh, loading the additional loading as you can see here let's i think we need to do this okay this is your digestion loading and uh, this is total influence required fluctuating according to your collection volume up and down based on your uh, uh, system and let's go for uh, total solids this is total solids total discharge you can put them on, on the same figure uh, water mass added should be added okay let's go here okay okay motor mass oh, okay influent yes and this is uh, top here required so as a designer this is your your head uh, fluctuating between this uh, top head of the gases so it's the height of the of the gases should be fluctuating between these values and this is your bottom uh, <coughs> uh, bottom head, head as you can see here bottom head so as a designer you have you have you have to take care of this ranges of design and this is I think uh, yes hourly costs hourly costs so fluctuating based on your uh, limitations and uh, design unit. okay okay this is the first one as you, is, it's the same uh, as you can see you can adapt this uh, uh, code okay okay let's go for another model I'm sorry this one uh, this is second version suppose I, I would like to control uh, this one is about how to control your uh, composition so I need to uh, select my composition by myself so this is gas production rate suppose I have a specific it's some kind of design model also I have a gas production rate for my uh, for my unit I need to collect uh, this is specific volume suppose you would like this is from uh, 0 up to 10 uh, suppose you would like to increase this limit you can increase this limit by clicking here mask uh, go into the mask edit mask and parameters and this one is gas but this is you as you can see here uh, limit it's from point oh oh one for example up to 10 or 5 it's you can increase uh, the limit and uh, the minimum limit and maximum limit if you would like to do this again and uh, okay and uh, okay this is my production rate suppose I need this one okay and attention time is 50 days and and we can control this also uh, dynamically if you would like the tension time is 50 days okay uh, suppose I have uh, some compositions I added only five spaces you can increase these limits you can increase this if you would like but normally I think we can uh, use only uh, uh, two uh, uh, limits I'm sorry I have to adjust this one let it be here edit mask going to there okay and this is your waste waste type multiplied by a number I'm sorry a number okay it is not number uh, uh, type mistake okay I have to adjust the wall. Okay, now here. Okay, and hit apply, and okay. It will not affect your new system running, but I'll just to uh, ensure that everything is fine. 
Okay, suppose I have, uh, for example, 20 cows, for example, this is, this is, uh, this composition is for any type of feedstock. Suppose I have 20 cows uh, with 10 um, uh, kilogram of dung, something like this. And we have here, uh, for example, uh, chicken, okay. Uh, with 0.1 kilogram multiplied by 20 chicken, for example, and you can add here human waste, birds, food, organic fruits. It's up to your uh, uh, design. Okay, and, and let's go here and select. Okay, for the first one, the first one, this one, I have to choose a total solids percentage. Uh, for um, for cow or buffaloes, this is 0.16, 16% of total solids should be uh, considered, and 0.24 uh, the second one, and this is for the third one, zero, because we didn't add any type here, and the fourth one is zero, and, and the fifth one is zero also. Okay, and we can adjust also. Uh, uh, the cost analysis for our uh, input. Let's go here. Okay, and hit OK and saving. Okay, let's go here. Okay, let's hit run and see our results. Okay, for these two types of field stock composition, we can get the following. Uh, we can get the following. This is total inflow required. We need this one. We need uh, around uh, for f for 50 days. We need uh, for uh, uh, 400 and uh, 405 kilogram required, and this is total solids will be needed. This is total discharge, and nearly 50 percent addition of water, as you can see here. We need 200, nearly the same 203 kilogram of water should be added, and the rest is the volume. This is your total volume as a designer. You you will need 25 meter cube uh, as a total volume of your tank, sludge layer, uh, walking uh, volume of digestion. This is a volume of digestion, active digestion. This one, okay, and diameter of your tank should be in this range. Uh, to uh, to volume, uh, bottom volume, uh, volume of cylindrical part and uh, height of the top head and bottom and this is your cost analysis okay uh, so the same you can you can adjust your inputs here suppose you would like to run this in uh, in a specific in dynamic model within a specific retention time uh, i will do this i have to go here clicking here for example, and let's go for this one. My retention time is from one up to uh, 40 days, for example. Okay, hit OK. So I have to remove this one, I'll put it here, and I would like to not controlling this one, so I will comment it. And let's go here and drag and drop a clock. Let's go for clock for sources. Uh, this one, it will uh, its value is the same of the simulation time. So uh, let's go here and try to connect this one. Okay, this clock is from uh, one up to forty days. Okay, and saving. And let's hit on and see. Let's hit run and see. Don't forget to send your uh, signal to data inspector. Be sure that this this uh, signal is already sent to data inspector. Okay, so it is already sent. Okay, this is a previous model. Let's let's close this one. Let's, I can remove this. I, I would like to remove this one. Delete all. So I can compare runs. Close this one. Okay, uh, I, if you would like to adjust your uh, uh, interval time, you can click here and let it be 0 0.01, 0 0.01, saving, 
Alla se torna sì. Ok, and let's go here and uh, checking our results. Ok, retention time. Ok, so this is your retention time. This is your retention time. It's from 1 up to 40. And this is total influence, no change. Total solids, no change. Volume, yes, volume. So uh, the volume has increased because we increased uh, the retention time. Okay. So the retention time has some influence on the volume uh, or, or in design mode. Okay. Uh, this is your head. Okay. As you can see here. And height. Hourly costs. A total discharge, no change, water mass, no change. It has influence on uh, the volume. I think it has influence on the volume. Too. Okay, as you can see, uh, sludge layer. Okay. Okay, diameter. The diameter is here. Okay. Okay, so the retention time has some influence on. Uh, you can change the simulation time, suppose keep this here and closing and you can change this time up to 50 a days and hit run again and see if it has uh, some influence. Let's go hit back. Okay. As you can see here, let's go for diameter. This is your the second run. Okay, diameter is here. Uh huh. Yes. Changing it according to your. You can send this to uh, to a figure. Okay. Let's try to delete all and suppose I would like to change my load uh, or I I'm sorry gas production rate this is gas production rate uh, for example uh, let's hit this one put it here and I close this one suppose it has the same values of uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry let's uh, go back here take another one suppose i have I, I need to collect from one up to 50 meter cube uh, per day of total solids okay so let's see uh, if we change this if we change suppose i have there's no effect of this one or or, or retention time gas production because we uh, commented it's inside suppose i have another composition of uh, human waste uh, suppose it's 10 people uh, multiplied by uh, 5 kilograms of, of waste and your the human waste the third one is is about uh, okay type 3 this is type 3 okay so you have to uh, total so maybe uh, 0.30 I'm just uh, checking uh, the availability okay and let's hit run and see okay going inside and see uh, the variation uh, regarding to your uh, your demand I increase my demand so I have I expecting it has some uh, there was no change here okay well, yes maybe the cost you can okay of course it, it has uh, i mean changes but i the behavior i need to yes the cost analysis okay cost has increased the total volume okay and working volume and active digestion volume decreased diameter okay and height function of diameter okay okay that's fine for this one okay 
So suppose you you would like to change this uh, uh, manually if you would like. Let's delete this one. Delete this one. Okay, and try to reconnect again. Okay, and I can control this uh, manually if I would like. So I would like to change this in infinity mode. So let's hit back again and i'm just giving you uh, uh, some ideas about how to use this one uh, suppose i need to change this in infinity mode so i hit infinity and going out here okay so i will run the model and uh, try to change this manually Okay, in dynamic mode. Okay, let's hit run and see our results. Okay, let's hit run and see our results. Okay, so this is your production rate. I'm increasing it. I'm increasing the production rate. As you can see, it has uh, moving uh, your arrows, uh, keyboard arrows, left to right. I'm increasing. Okay, uh, okay. Head back again. Okay. And this is uh, solids percent. Suppose you have increasing your solid percent. It's up to you. So if you control this, you can control your uh, system uh, results manually if you would like. Let's see the run. Uh, okay. Let's go in here and see. Okay, uh, this is your total. Yes, fluctuating because this is my cont manual controlling total solids per kilogram. Okay, and uh, this one is for uh, total volume uh, meter cube. Okay, I have to wait a little bit. Okay, and height biogas. Uh, cost analysis and so on okay uh, finally I would like to uh, thank you very much for your interesting in our don't forget to like uh, share and uh, subscribe thank you very much